In the previous checkpoint, we have looked at the instantaneous power of a sinusoidal AC. Now, it is time to move on to find the average power of the AC. As mentioned in the previous lesson, this can be easily done by first finding the root mean square current or voltage of the sinusoidal AC. You have learned how to find the RMS current of a general AC. We will apply the same steps here. First, we square the current value at every point in time. Graphically, you will get a new waveform that looks suspiciously sinusoidal. Why is this the case? We can algebraically write this graph as i square equals i naught square sine square omega t by simply squaring both sides of the equation. If you remember your trigonometric identities, sine square x equals to 1 minus cos 2x over 2. So after substituting and simplifying, i square can indeed be written as a sinusoidal wave translated vertically. The next step is to mean Graphically, it is of course extremely tedious to sum up all the values then find its mean. You can of course integrate the area under the curve, but it, that is unnecessarily complicated. Let me show you the trick. If you observe this graph, this portion can be surgically grafted onto this area, you, and you get a rectangular block of area under the new graph. Here, we can simply read off the value on the y-axis to find the average i square is i square uh, is i not square over 2. Algebra uh, algebra algebraically, we can also note the average value of a sinusoidal graph over time is 0. Hence, this cosine term averages to 0 and the average i square is again i not square over 2. Now we square root this value to get i rms equals to square root of i not uh, square over 2, which is simply i not over square root 2. Ta-da! You got it. For any sinusoidal AC, the RMS current is always equal to 1 over square root 2 of the peak current. The same goes for voltage. With this new knowledge, the next checkpoint will discuss how you can find the average power in a sinusoidal AC.